Hi guys, this is Saurabh here and welcome to another session for the JE Sprint 2.0. In this session, we would be discussing coordination chemistry. If I would ask you to guess the number of questions that came in JE Mains 2019 January paper across all sessions for uh, coordination chemistry, what would the number be? If you can make a guess of how many questions came from coordination chemistry. The right answer is 12. Okay, so across four days of examination, a total of 12 questions came from coordination chemistry and that makes this topic extremely important. So we are gonna take all the questions which came in the January mains examination as well as we will be taking some other questions as well. Okay, so let's start the session with the first question that came in the January mains examination. So the first question is we have to match the metals with the coordination compounds of the enzymes given in column 2. So what we do is we follow the method of elimination. We start eliminating chlorophyll and vitamin B12. Chlorophyll contains magnesium and vitamin B12 contains cobalt because vitamin B12 is known as cyanocobalamin. So chlorophyll will be matched with magnesium. Vitamin B12 with cobalt so a3 d2 a3 d2 the right answer should be b humne se first a and d liya hai usse answer nikal gaya wilkinson catalyst will be matched with rhodium wilkinson catalyst is r h c l p p h 3 hole thrice this is wilkinson's catalyst okay so <clears throat> you do not need to know the formula for carbonic anhydrous. Carbonic anhydrous, however, contains zinc. Okay. So with this, we solve the first question. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is the magnetic moment of an hom octahedral homoleptic Mn2 complex is 5.9 Bohr magneton. If the most suitable ligand for this complex is now. What we need to do is we need to understand what is the meaning of homoleptic. Homoleptic means only one type of ligand, only one type of ligand. So, and we have a Mn2 complex. So, Mn2 plus agar humne liya hai, to Mn2 plus the configuration of the 3D5. Okay, and 5.9 Bohr magneton means mu is 5.9, which suggests that. Formula ye hota hai, nikalne ka, Bohr magneton, magnetic moment nikalta hai se. So, <coughs> for this value to be equal to 5.9, answer should be equal to, this is 6, so ye kitna hona chahiye, almost 35, and for this to be 35, this should be 5, and should be equal to 5. Okay, if n is equal to 5, that means none of the electrons are getting paired up, and if none of the electrons are getting paired up, we know, we know, that a weak field ligand doesn't pair up any electrons and weak field ligand ko identify karna yaha se bohat easy hai this is a strong field this is a strong field this is a strong field and what about this one this is weak field so the correct answer should be b correct answer will be b Pairing will take place only when strong field ligands are present. Un uh, pairing will not take place when weak field ligands are present. So with this, we move on to the next question. So the next question is this. The metal D orbitals that are directly facing the ligands in K3COCN6 complex. Now in a K3COCN6 complex, we need to look inside the coordination sphere. Coordination sphere ke andar six ligands hai. Six ligands ka matlab octahedral complex. And in a octahedral complex, jo ligands aate hai, wo along the axis aate hai. So, if you place the metal at an origin, if you place a metal at the origin, then ligands will come from along the axis. So, here if metal present hai, and its d orbitals around the origin, kisi bhi direction are present, hai, then metal ligands are approaching along the axis. So, here six ligands along the axis approach kar rahe hai. Six ligands approaching along the axis. Now, which d orbitals are oriented along the axis? You have five d orbitals. 
फाइव डी ऑर्बिटल्स में दो डी ऑर्बिटल ऐसे होते हैं जो कि अलोंग द एक्सिस प्रोजेक्टेड रहते हैं दे आर डी एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वाई स्क्वायर एंड डी जेड स्क्वायर सो डी एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वाई स्क्वायर इफ इज प्रोजेक्टेड अलोंग द एक्सिस सो इट इज डायरेक्टली फेसिंग द लाइग एंड वाइल द अदर थ्री आर प्रेजेंट इन द प्लेन लाइक एक्स वाई प्लेन वाई जेड प्लेन एंड एक्स जेड प्लेन सो द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन माई डियर स्टूडेंट द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी डी d x square minus y square and d z square. Very simple question. देखिए अब जेई मेन्स में ऐसा नहीं है कि हमेशा डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन आएंगे वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन आते हैं बट पॉइंट टू पॉइंट क्वेश्चन आते हैं सो लेट्स मोवन टू द नेक्स्ट वन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एम एन टू सीओ टेन इज अर्गेनोमेटलिक कंपाउंड ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ क्वेश्चन ये नहीं है कि एम एन टू सीओ टेन का स्ट्रक्चर बताना क्वेश्चन इज दैट वट इज द रीजन इट इज नोन एज ऑर्गेनोमेटलिक न द रीजन इट इज नोन एज ऑर्गेनोमेटलिक दैट it contains a metal carbon bond all metal carbon bond containing elip compounds will be known as organometallic compounds for example you take grignard reagent you take gilman's reagent you take alkyl lithium you take wilkinson catalyst you take uh, vitamin b12 all of these carbonic anhydrase these are organometallic compounds because they contain a metal carbon bond सोडियम एसिडेट अगर हम लेंगे तो सोडियम एसिडेट डज नॉट कंटेन अ मेटल कार्बन बॉन्ड इट कंटेन्स अ मेटल ऑक्सीजन बॉन्ड एन सी एस थ्री सीओ एन ए रहता है सो सोडियम ऑक्सीजन बॉन्ड रहता है सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी एम एन सी बॉन्ड द राइट आंसर इज बी वेरी सिंपल कैन बी सॉल्व अंडर फाइव सेकेंड यू डो नॉट इवन हैव टू राइट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड Let's move on to the next question. The next question is this: the pair of metal ions that can give a spin-only magnetic moment of 3.9 bm for the complex MH2O6Cl2. Now, if we have a ligand like H2O inside the coordination sphere, then We have to remember that H2O acts as a weak fill ligand, except for few cases, जहाँ पर कि वो act depends on the metal, it can act as a strong fill ligand. What we have to identify is that in which of these cases that we have a magnetic moment of that value. Now, to have a magnetic moment of that value, what should be the number of unpaired electrons? How do we know that? So, 3.9 is one point uh, one short of फोर सो फोर होने के लिए इफ द मैग्नेटिक मोमेंट वुड हैड टू बी फोर मैग्नेटिक मोमेंट इज कैलकुलेटेड यूजिंग दिस एन इन टू एन प्लस टू बी एम सो इफ म्यू इज फोर देन द वैल्यू इन साइड द स्क्वायर रूट इट इट हैड टू बी सिक्सटीन बट इफ इट इज थ्री पॉइंट नाइन दैट मीन दिस वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन होना चाहिए सो म्यू इज थ्री पॉइंट नाइन only when this total value is equal to 15 and this total value will be equal to 15 when n is equal to 3 so hamare paas three unpaired electrons hone chahiye now three unpaired electrons kahan pe rahenge let's look at it so cr2 plus and mn2 plus chromium 2 plus will be d in a d4 state chromium is 3d5 4s1 so ek do electron agar apne hata diya to d4 mn2 d5 नहीं फोर अन पेड फाइव अन पेड हो नहीं सकता है वी टू प्लस सीओ टू प्लस सो वी टू प्लस स्कैंडियम टाइटेनियम वेनेडियम वेनेडियम वी टू प्लस डी थ्री एंड कोबाल टू प्लस इज इन डी सेवन कॉन्फ़िगरेशन नो डी सेवन को हम इस तरह से लिखेंगे वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन so what does that leave us three unpaired electron the right answer to this question shall be b the right answer to this question will be b to ek minute mein aapka answer nikal jayega kyunki aapne sirf identify karna hai ki kis mein three unpaired electrons present hain v2 plus fe2 plus ho nahi sakta hai because v2 plus will have d3 configuration and fe2 plus will have d6 configuration if it is d6 that means there will be four unpaired electrons CO2+ and Fe2+ that is also not possible CO2+ will have 
D7 uh, configuration with number of unpaired electron is equal to 3 and this will have number of unpaired electron is equal to 4. So the right answer to this question will be B. Let's move on to the next question. This question is very simple. The complex that has highest crystal field splitting energy. The highest crystal field splitting energy depends on the nature of ligand which is present inside the coordination sphere. This coordination sphere which you are seeing, the ligand which is present in it depends crystal field splitting energy. Depend karta hai. Now crystal field splitting energy, if it depends on nature of ligand, then remember this, that the strong field ligands will result in higher splitting and higher splitting and uh, consequently higher crystal field splitting energy and weak field ligands will result in less degree of splitting and because of that lower crystal field splitting energy so we ye identify karna hai ki kahan pe strong field ligands present hai aur kahan pe weak field ligands present hai it's a very simple question aapko bas dekhna hai koi calculation nahi karna hai dekhna hai, answer nikalna hai so cn strong field nh3 5 h2o this is a mixture of weak and strong isko let's say we keep this in bank cl weak nh3 5 cl is weak and strong uh, sorry strong and weak so strong plus weak yahan pe bhi strong plus weak aa ja raha hai aur yahan pe sirf strong hai aur yahan pe sirf weak hai to ab bataiye kahan pe sabse zyada splitting hogi sabse zyada splitting a mein hogi if a under if a causes if the if the ligand c and causes maximum splitting to maximum splitting energy will be observed for the complex a so it is the right answer to this question let's move on to the next one now next question is very interesting two complexes cr h2o6 actually this should have been This should have been like this cr h2o6 cl3 and cr nh3 6 cl3 are violet and yellow respectively the incorrect statement regarding them is ab isme hame batana hai incorrect statement please do read the question carefully in the examination question acche se padhiye kyunki kahin kahin pe wo pooch dete hain incorrect batane ke liye so hame kya batana hai incorrect statement violet and yellow जैसे ही आपके पास कलर कोडिंग वाला क्वेश्चन आ जाए जहां पे कि वायलेट येलो ब्लू ये सब आ जाए देन रिमेंबर दैट आपसे कलर से रिलेटेड कुछ ना कुछ तो पूछा जाएगा अगर हमारे पास वायलेट एंड येलो दिया गया है इसका मतलब क्या है इफ यू रिमेंबर देयर इज अ न्यूटन्स कलर व्हील इन अ न्यूटन्स कलर व्हील वी हैव डिवाइडेड रीजंस इन अ पर्टिकुलर मैनर दिस रीजन रिप्रेजेंट्स वायलेट और इंडिगो this region represents B blue this represents G Y O R Vibjo or jitne bhi aapke spectrum ke colors hain wo humne isme is tarah se arrange kar diya hai V I this region and B G Y O R is tarah se rehta hai how does this Newton color wheel help us now if I observe a particular color so is part is color ke liye if the color observed is violet that means absorption would had happened for yellow this is known as the complementary color this is known as the complementary color so if the absorption is violet color is yellow <clears throat> if the absorption is yellow color is violet is tarah se aapka rehta hai so if the ob absorption of blue light has taken place or color or wavelength corresponding to blue has taken place the color of the complex will be orange if the complex has absorbed wavelength corresponding to orange then the color will be blue let's look at what is the answer to this question now i know from my uh, study that NH3 is a strong field ligand and H2O is a weak field ligand. Let's look at the options. 
delta naught value of A is less than that of B. This is the right answer. Weak field ligand delta naught represents crystal field splitting energy. So delta naught, I have told you in the previous questions, the delta naught value of this will be less. So this is the right answer. So uh, this is the right statement. Next, let's look at the option B. Delta naught value of A and B are calculated for energies of violet and yellow light respectively. No, this is not done in this manner. Delta naught is not calculated like this. Okay, so this is a wrong statement. Let's look at other options. Both absorb energies corresponding to the complementary colors. Obviously, they absorb these very wave wavelengths. So, agar iska color first wale ka color violet hai, so that means it would have absorbed yellow light and second one is yellow that means it would have absorbed violet or indigo both are paramagnetic with three unpaired electron this is cr3 plus so cr is 3d5 4s1 so cr3 plus will be 3d3 okay now it is octahedral complex because six ligands present hai. octahedral splitting is tarah se hoti hai. how would i arrange three electrons one Two, three. Invariably, three electrons dono mein hamesha unpaired state mein present rahenge. So this is the right statement. The wrong statement is B, which is the right answer to this question. So this solves us the next question. This solves us this question. Let's move on to the next one. The difference in the number of unpaired electrons of a metal in its high spin and low spin octahedral complex is two. Very beautiful question. The difference in the number of unpaired electrons in its high spin and low spin octahedral complex is 2. The metal ion is. How do we solve it? It's a simple way. <clears throat> so, if I take Fe2+, plus, what is the number of electrons present in a d orbital of Fe2+. Plus? It's in a d6 configuration. CO2 plus is in D7, Mn2 plus is D5, and Ni2 plus is D8. How do I solve this? So D6 strong field strong field all electrons will remain paired. In case of weak field, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many paired versus unpaired? 4 unpaired, 0, pair, uh, zero unpaired. So that means the difference is 4. So Fe2 plus is not the answer to the question. CO2 plus dekh lete hain. So in CO2 plus, what will happen? Again the same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and in weak field 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 how many are present? 3, 1 difference between the 2 is 2 3 unpaired electrons in weak field strong field so weak field and a strong field ko samajhna bahut hi easy hai aap is tarah se samajhiye ki agar weak field ka case rahega then electrons will go in a systematic manner 1 2 3 4 5 and then they'll start pairing up over here electrons will first occupy all the electrons will try to first occupy the lower energy level and whatever is left will go into the higher energy level so this is strong field this is weak field the diff number of unpaired electrons is 3, number of unpaired electrons is 1, the difference between the two is 2, the right answer to the question is B. C and D B you can solve kar sakte hai, but while going in the chronological order, I have figured out that it's a single option correct question, means my essay question aata hai, so the right answer to the question is B. Let's move on to the next one. In 1 is to 2 mole ratio generates two isomeric compounds A and B. A color is violet, B is green. A can show optical activity but B cannot show 
optical active b is optically inactive so what type of isomers a and b represent now remember whenever such reactions take place they are substitution reactions and if substitution reaction give rise to two products which have two different colors always remember if two different colors are obtained that is always because they are two different geometrical isomers they cannot be two different ionization coordination linkage any structural i form of isomerism will not generate a different color a form of geometrical isomerism will generate two different colors the reason being agar aapne inko is reaction ka outcome agar aapne likha then you will yourself observe that two different products milte hain and in these two products you will get you will get something like this coe and 2 cl2 something like you will get something like this this will be the outcome of the reaction now coe and 2 cl2 is in the form of maa2 b2 kind of a complex hum isko is tarah se likhte hain a a b b and we can write b over here m b so this represents the trans product and this represents the cis product a a isliye likha gaya hai because in ethylene diamine ethylene diamine which looks like this ch2 ch2 nh2 nh2 is a ligand in which the two donor atoms are alike that is the reason it is written as a a if the two donor atoms would have been non alike i would have written it as a b okay so very easy question the answer should be geometrical isomers let's move on to the next question what is wilkinson's catalyst abhi humne padha wilkinson's catalyst is guys bataiye what will be wilkinson's catalyst wilkinson catalyst contains pph3 ligand chlorine and rhodium are pph3 whole thrice rhcl answer should be a it is none of the other entities et3p3 nahi hota hai that is not possible this is what is wilkinson's catalyst wilkinson's catalyst is a let's go to the next question next question is this it's a very very beautiful question and a lot of students made a mistake in this question is question ko solve karna bahut simple hai lekin is question mein chhota sa trick hai usko bahut logon ne miss kar diya tha isliye unko different answer aaya hai okay so question is this the total number of isomers for a square planar complex now it is already been given that it is square planar so square planar complex will not show optical isomerism please do always remember square planar complexes do not show optical isomerism so how do we write the outcome when number of isomers has been asked then you should always include stereo isomers as well as structural isomers now in stereo isomers optical is not going to happen because a square planar complex is flat and they will always the mirror image will always be superimposable they can however show geometrical isomerism so let's look at what would be the geometrical isomers of this compound so i will write m f c l s c m NO2 मैं ये भी लिख सकता हूं एम सी एल एफ एस सी एन एन ओ टू आई कैन ऑल्सो राइट एम सी एल एन ओ टू एफ एस सी एन आई कैन राइट थ्री डिफरेंट geometrical isomers there are three different geometrical isomers now here is the small catch in the question the catch is that scn and no2 are ambidentate ligands or ambidentate ligands are the ones which can bind through two different donor sites like means 
either it can bind through sulfur or it can bind through nitrogen this can bind as NO2 or ONO so हमारे पास और भी combinations आ जाएंगे so ये हो सकता है कि ये SCN रहा और ये ONO बन गया so this can be SC this could be SCN plus ONO apart from this this can also happen it can be NCS plus ONO ये भी हो सकता है यहां पे हो सकता है NCS plus NO2 okay so for every one हमारे पास कितनी combinations आ जाएंगे SCN का SCN plus ONO NCS plus ONO NCS plus NO2 so इसमें भी 3 मिलेगा इसके साथ और 3 मुझे मिल सकते हैं so यहां पे हमने ligand का nature point of attachment change कर दिया हमारे पास different structures मिलने जाएंगे so this plus 3 this plus 3 this plus 3 total कितना हो गया a total of 12 will be obtained answer should be A answer should be A बहुत लोगों ने इसमें mistake किया है and please do remember this is one of the most beautiful questions that J.E. Mains has given. Okay, let's move on to the next question. The coordination number of thorium in this complex. Coordination number is equal to the number of donor atoms or number of entities which are donating electrons. So, kitne entities donate kar rahe hain? Now, if there are two different types of ligands, if there is a C2O4 and OH2, I first need to figure out what is the nature of C2O4. C2O4 is a bidentate ligand. So C double bond O, O, C double bond O, O, minus, minus, this is a bidentate ligand. And H2O is a monodentate ligand. So how many monodentate ligands are given? Two. How many bidentate ligands are given? Four. So, four bidentate ligands you will you each will utilize two donor sites. So, number of donor sites kitne ho jayenge in total which are donating electrons? Eight. We have been given four. So, four times two, ye ho jayega eight. Ye two times one because it donates, it's a monodentate ligand. Total kitna ho gaya? Ten. The correct answer should be B. The correct answer is B. Very simple question. Number of bidentate times 2 number of monodentate times 1 other tridentate rehta to number of tridentate times 3 so on and so forth okay so let's go on to the next question so select the complex which has all the following characteristics select the complex which has all the following characteristics first statement is 1 is to 1 type complex. 1 is to 1 type complex means number of cations and number of anions are equal. Okay? Pala statement dekh lete hai. Pala statement pe hum kuch agar eliminate kar paate hai, to usko eliminate kar dete hai. So 1 is to 1, cation 1, anion 1, cation 1, anion 1. So this is a 1 is to 1 complex. This is a 1 is to 1 complex. This is a 2 is to 1 complex. This is this will not ionize so this these two will not be the answer to this question heteroleptic heteroleptic means two different type of ligands are present inside the coordination sphere so we have nh3 and cl present inside the coordination sphere in this case nh3 and cl so both of them satisfy the condition set two does not give agcl with agno3 this is a very very simple assessment agcl precipitate will be given only when a chloride is outside the coordination sphere because chloride will be replaced by no3 and cl will come out in the solution will get precipitated ye chloride ka test hota hai and this you had read in werner complexes as well so in which case chloride is Pre not present outside the coordination sphere the right answer to the question is B okay let's move on this question CONH3,4NO2CNO2 
uh, whole twice cl exhibits what types of isomerism first and foremost jab bhi isomerism ka question hai usko bahut simple tarike se aap is tarah se likh lo ki ye complex kis form ka hai so this complex is of ma4 b2 type ma4 b2 type now whether linkage isomerism is present obviously linkage isomerism rahega linkage isomerism isliye rahega kyunki no2 can bind using nitrogen center or oxygen so it can bind as no2 or ono but that does not change the fact that i will not write this as ma4 b2 when it is ono wo ma4 b2 ke form mein hi present rahega agar ono bhi form ono mein bhi change kar jata hai to so linkage isomerism to ek common hona chahiye theek hai linkage isomerism to ek common hona chahiye आयोनाइजेशन आइसोमेरिज्म रहेगा कि नहीं ये हमें जानना है आयोनाइजेशन आइसोमेरिज्म विल आल्सो बी प्रेजेंट बिकॉज़ वन क्लोराइड कैन गो इनसाइड एंड वन NO2 कैन कम आउटसाइड सो वन लाइगेंड एक्सचेंज कैन टेक प्लेस बिटवीन द कोऑर्डिनेशन स्फीयर एंड व्हाट इज नॉट प्रेजेंट एज द कोऑर्डिनेशन स्फीयर सो क्लोराइड कैन गो इन एंड वन ऑफ द लाइगेंड्स कैन कम आउट सो आयोनाइजेशन भी रहेगा लिंकेज भी रहेगा लिंकेज एंड आयोनाइजेशन रहना है तो लिंकेज एंड आयोनाइजेशन किस में प्रेजेंट है तो लिंकेज एंड आयोनाइजेशन यहां प्रेजेंट है लिंकेज एंड आयोनाइजेशन यहां प्रेजेंट है अब हमें आइडेंटिफाई करना है कि बी एंड सी ये तो होगा नहीं ये भी होगा नहीं वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दैट बी एंड सी में से करेक्ट कौन सा होगा एम ए फोर बी टू टाइप ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स हम इस तरह से लिख सकते हैं एम ए ए बी बी This is Ma4B2. I can write one another form. <clears throat> I can write it like this. So these two forms, where we have exchanged the ligands, turn out to be geometrical isomers of each other. But whether they are optical isomers, how do we try to identify that? If they have a plane of symmetry, they will not be optically active. So, we see plane of symmetry present here or not? Yes. A plane of symmetry will remain like this. In this case as well, a plane of symmetry is present. So, optical isomerism will not be exhibited, but geometrical isomerism will be exhibited along with uh, along with linkage, along with ionization isomerism. So, the right answer to the question will be. C. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. Which of the following is D two sp three hybridized? Which of the following is D two sp three hybridized? Now there are two ways to solve the question. एक तो आपके पास कुछ इंफॉर्मेशन रहे उससे आप सॉल्व कर लो या फिर आपने एक लंबा मेथड लिया है उसको सॉल्व करने का. Now I'll give you a very important hint. Let's look at what kind of complexes are these. Are these octahedral complexes? Yes. हमने octahedral geometry के बारे में ही पूछा है D two sp three octahedral splitting नहीं आएगा. So if six ligands present है तो होना ही चाहिए. So octahedral, octahedral, octahedral. Six ligands present हैं तीनों में. Now, always remember Ni four plus Ni four plus If binds with halogens, then halogens behave as strong field. Halogens do not actually behave as strong field ligands, but if Ni four plus is bind, bonded with them, it they will behave as strong field ligands. But if Ni two plus is bonded with halogens, they will behave as If it is Ni4+, जैसे ही आप ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट इंक्रीज करते हैं वैसे ही क्रिस्टल फील्ड स्प्लिटिंग इंक्रीज कर जाती है एंड सो द लाइगेंट्स स्टार्ट बिहेविंग एज स्ट्रॉन्ग फील्ड विद एन आई हेलोजेंस ऑल्सो स्टार्ट बिहेविंग एज स्ट्रॉन्ग फील्ड इसको याद रख लो ठीक है आई आर इरीडियम इरीडियम इज प्रेजेंट लोअर इन द ट्रांजिशन सीरीज ट्रांजिशन सीरीज में जैसे आप नीचे आते जाते हैं वैसे वैसे क्या होता है कि क्रिस्टल फील्ड स्प्लिटिंग इंक्रीज करता है एंड बिकॉज ऑफ इंक्रीज इन क्रिस्टल फील्ड स्प्लिटिंग इवन द वीक फील्ड लाइगेंट्स 
start behaving as a strong field ligands. So, if you have a element of 3D series, like this series may iron, scandium, man, MN, yes, present hai, 3D, 4D, 5D. So, if element is present in 4D, 5D series, then weak field ligands if bonded are if are bonded with them, then weak field ligands will also start behaving as a strong field ligands. So, yahan pe bhi ye strong field jaisa behave kar raha hai. Okay? It's a it's an important fact. Isko piyad rakhi. Ni4 plus oxidation state increase kia. Halogens will start behaving as a strong field. Jaisi lower up aate hain, wahan pe weak field ligand will also start behaving as strong field ligand. And so iridium, this complex will also generate a geometry of D2SP3. FeCN6 3 minus to known hai. CN6 will be a strong field ligand, will always form a D2SP3 hybridized system. The right answer to this question is D. You do not even have to solve the question by like drawing the uh, orbitals by showing them, showing the pairing. By looking at the options and by remembering these facts, you can answer the question very correctly. Let's move on to the next question. <clears throat> so, select the correct statements about PTCl4 4NH3 complex salt. Now, I had told this earlier in my uh, in a number of Aspire series videos as well as uh, J Sprint. Uh, videos which were conducted in the month of December that PTCl4 and S3 complexes are also known as Werner complexes in which all the ammonia ligands will be inside the coordination sphere or is me hum karenge kya ki jitne ammonia ligands ab add kar rahe hai plus you will take out some chloride ions so that the coordination number is preserved at 6. Werner worked with cobalt ammonia chlorine complexes with coordination number 6 and platinum ammonia chlorine complexes with coordination number 6. So PT and Cl4 4 NH3 complex will be written like this PT NH3 4 Cl2 Cl2 so, we will write this Now let's analyze what are the statement which statements are correct आपको ये याद होना चाहिए कि वर्नर कॉम्प्लेक्स में जो भी स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट्स के अंदर हैं वो सारे सेकेंडरी वैलेंसीज होती हैं एंड व्हाटएवर इज प्रेजेंट आउटसाइड द स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट इज टेकन एज प्राइमरी वैलेंसी प्राइमरी वैलेंसी इज डिफाइंड इन सम इन एन अनदर वे एज वेल इट इज इक्वल टू द नम टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ पॉजिटिव चार्ज व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द मेटल सो इन दिस केस द नंबर ऑफ सेकेंडरी वैलेंसी इज 6 primary valency secondary valency is 2 degree valency primary valency is 1 degree valency primary valency is 4 so how do we identify which is the right statement let's read the statement all the chlorides are bonded by primary valency obviously not these two chlorides are present as secondary so ye galat ho gaya. all the chlorides are bonded by secondary obviously not two chlorides are present outside the coordination sphere some are bonded by primary, some are bonded by secondary because chloride is determining the oxidation state. So since all chlorides are determining the oxidation state, so all chlorides turn out to behave as primary valency. But out of them, only two behave as secondary valency because they are present inside the coordination sphere. Coordination sphere ke andar jo bhi rahenge, wo secondary valency rahega. So all NH3 are bonded by secondary valency, which is correct. Half of the chlorides bonded with are bonded with secondary valency which is also correct the right answer should be 3 and 4 3 and 4 kahan pe aa raha hai? option b so the option b is correct very simple question very easy question is tarah questions aap jay may expect kar sakte hain let's move on to the next one Which of the following ligands do not form metal nitrogen bond when bonded with metal? Metal nitrogen bond banta nahi hai jahan pe ki metal ke saath bonded hai. Now, you first need to know the nature of these ligands. EDTA ko instara se draw karte hai. N, CH2, CH2, N, O minus, EDTA 
फोर माइनस इज हेक्साडेंटेट द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस स्टेटमेंट इज ये हेक्साडेंटेट है का मतलब दिस नाइट्रोजन दिस नाइट्रोजन एंड दीज फोर ऑक्सीजन एटम्स ऑल ऑफ देम आर बॉन्डेड टू मेटल सो इट ई डी टी इज नॉट द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ई एन ई एन इज दिस एन एच टू एन एच टू यहां पर तो मेटल इसी साथ बॉन्डेड रहता है इट इज ऑल्सो नॉट द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन जी एल वाई माइनस वन जी एल वाई माइनस वन इज ग्लाइसिनेटो इट इज द एनाइनिक फॉर्म ऑफ ग्लाइसिन ग्लाइसिन इज एन अमीनो एसिड दिस बिहेव एज बाइडेंटेट If it behaves as bidentate, that means it donates from oxygen as well as nitrogen. ACAC minus ACAC minus one acetyl acetonato. Is ko hum likhte kis tarah se hain? Now acetyl acetonato is the right answer. Because a lot of people can answer it directly. Acetyl acetonato does not have any nitrogen atoms. So the right answer should be T. Okay. However, you should know the structure of these uh, ligands because in a number of cases you could be asked that what does this ligand represent? Okay. Or what is the name of this ligand? Next question: A complex KnMnF6 has a magnetic moment of 4.9 bm. What is the oxidation state of Mn and the value of n? Very simple question. Very very simple question. Magnetic moment is 4.9. That's the major hint. 4.9 magnetic moment आपको दिया गया है. So mu is given is 5. So then n value mu sorry the me so mu given is 4.9. 4.9 शॉर्ट ऑफ फाइव फाइव अगर होता तो क्यों रूट के अंदर क्या वैल्यू रहती 25 अगर 4.9 है तो क्या वैल्यू रहेगी 24 इफ इट इज 24 देन n इंटू एन प्लस टू के लिए n की वैल्यू हो जाएगी 4 n की वैल्यू हो जाएगी 4 बट n वैल्यू मीन 4 इज नॉट द आंसर टू द ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट हम यहां से आइडेंटिफाई करेंगे ना एम एन shows 3d5 4s2 configuration in ground state now if it has four unpaired electron only four unpaired electron that means it should be present in mn3 plus oxidation state where it will have 3d4 configuration and 4s0 okay so mn should be in plus 3 oxidation state ये प्लस थ्री ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट में रहेगा एम एन इफ इज प्रेजेंट इन प्लस थ्री फ्लोराइड इच हैज माइनस वन चार्ज सो प्लस थ्री माइनस सिक्स वॉट शुड बी द नंबर ऑफ पोटेशियम इन सो दैट द टोटल चार्ज इज बैलेंस्ड द नंबर ऑफ पोटेशियम शुड ऑल्सो बी थ्री सो द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज बी वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन नॉट टेक्स मोर देन अ मिनट टू सॉल्व ओके बट वेन यू रीड अ क्वेश्चन प्लीज डू रीड इट वेरी वेरी केयरफुली ओके सेलेक्ट द करेक्ट रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द कलर ऑफ द लाइट एब्सॉर्ब एंड द कलर ऑब्जर्व इन द कॉर्डिनेशन एंटिटीज रिमेंबर आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर दैट ऐसे क्वेश्चन जब आते हैं देन यू शुड ऑलवेज बी थैंकफुल टू द जे पर्सन हु हैज प्रिपेयर द पेपर कि आपको न्यूटन कलर व्हील पे आपका क्वेश्चन सॉल्व हो जाने वाला है सो न्यूटन कलर व्हील हम ड्रॉ करते हैं सो दिस इज वी बी जी वाई ओ आर कलर एब्सॉर्ब इफ इज येलो इफ कलर एब्सॉर्ब इज येलो वट विल बी द कलर ऑब्जर्व वायलेट विच इज करेक्ट अगर एब्सॉर्ब येलो हुआ है देन ऑब्जर्व क्या होगा वायलेट कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री ही जाता है सो so, अपोजिट जो रहते हैं वो कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री रहते हैं 
orange yellow if is absorbed blue will be observed orange absorb hua hai blue which is also correct red green red green red is absorbed so green will be observed violet red obviously d incorrect ho jayega violet or violet or red complementary hai nahi opposite present hi nahi hai so answer should be violet red incorrect aapse pucha gaya hai so d is the right answer to the question man it d is the right answer to the question let's move on to the next question a complex exists in two geometrical isomeric form one of them one of them geometrical isomers is given so this is one of the geometrical isomers now what should we place over here so that the complex will exist in two geometrical isomeric forms so this turns out to be a complex of the form ma4 because 4 and its three ligands b because one chlorine let's look at the options and it's three cl br cl or br if it is nh3 it will be a ma5b kind of a complex because ammonia another ammonia ligand it will become ma5b this will be ma4b2 kind of a complex this will be ma4bc kind of a complex so so m a a m a 4 b 2 this is m a 4 b 2 is come auric form bana sakte okay m a 4 b c mein karna kya hai ki while remove one b and replace it with c the same thing can be done over here and they look different so the right answer to the select ligand for the missing position is ke liye either cl or br the right answer to this question is d very simple question very interesting one as well so let's look at this question the color of kmno4 is due to the bahut samay mein ye malum hota hai ki color is because electron transitions takes place between the d orbitals but that's not always true electron transition can take place in d orbitals but that will result in a very very faint color intensity kam hoti hai dd transition is one of the modes of generation of color so within d orbitals if color transition if transition of electrons takes place then it will generate a color which will not be very intense if i look at kmno4 a lot of people made a mistake over here because mn is in plus 7 oxidation state and if mn is in plus 7 oxidation state does not have any d or electrons in the d orbital so that means the color is generated because of something else and the color is generated because of something known as ligand to metal charge transition or charge transfer the correct answer is a remember this if metal does not contain any d orbital electron it is also observed in k2cr2o7 where it is in plus 6 oxidation state plus 6 oxidation means d0 configuration if it is in d0 but it a very intense color is observed that is because ligand pushes electron and it is known as ligand to metal charge transfer however there is one another mode metal to ligand hota hai ki nahi ye bhi hum jaan lete hain for example nico4 all the ligands which can accept electrons in antibonding orbital like co pph3 any alkene or cyclopentadiene ye sare ligands apne antibonding orbitals mein electrons accept karte hain and because of that color is observed so in this case it is metal to ligand charge transfer complex in this case it is ligand to metal charge transition or charge transfer the right answer to this question is a let's move on to the next question
So let's look at this question. In this question, we have to identify how many geometrical isomers can exist for this square planar complex. Now it has already been specified that it is a square planar complex, so we have to cut the load of optical vagera. So what do we have to do? What we have to do is, we will write, identify the nature of ligands. So we have four different ligands. So what we will do is, PT will be represented by M and four different ligands will be represented by A, B, C, D. Now A, B, C, D, it will be easier for you to work out. So A, B, C, D, if we have then I can write it as A, C, D, B, B, M. And we can write one another A, D, So, we get three different geometrical isomers. The right answer should be D. Very simple. Came in J.E. May in 2015. So, simple questions are there in J.E. May. Don't worry. Ki hamesha difficult question. Aapko hamesha difficult question ki peechhe aap bhaagne ki zarurat nahi hai. Simple questions bhi aate hai. Okay. So, let's move on to the next question. So, what is the question? The correct statement about uh, on the isomerism associated with the following complex ions. So NiH2O5, NH3, NiH2O4, NH3 whole twice, NiH2O3, NH3 whole thrice. Okay. Now to solve this question, first what we will do is we'll simplify the elaborate structure and write it in the form of so first can be written as M A 5 B second can be written as M A 4 B 2 third can be written as M A 3 B 3 M A 5 B हमने पहले ही identify कर लिया कि it will neither show geometrical nor will show optical because there will not be any different way of arranging the ligands nor, nor will exist a uh, also there will exist a internal plane of symmetry okay so one is obviously not an not an assessment यहाँ पे geometrical and optical के बारे में पूछा गया है तो जहाँ भी one आपको दिख रहा है उसको हटा दीजिए so a तो होगा नहीं answer C B होगा नहीं आंसर B और D ले लेते हैं 2 and 3 can show geometrical and optical 2 and 3 can show only geometrical I already proved in a previous question that M A 4 B 2 will not show uh, not show optical isomerism sorry M A 4 B 2 will not show optical isomerism so if M A 4 B 2 is given as optical as well so B is not going to be correct the right answer to this question is D Okay, MA3B3 will exist in two geometrical isomers which are known as meridional and facial. Meridional and facial in me koi bhi form optical isomerism show nahi karega because there will exist a plane of symmetry. Okay, let's look at the next question. Okay, so we do not have any more questions. We have solved a substantial 23 questions we solved in this class. Mein. So that's a massive number of questions that we have taken. So if you have liked the video, please do share it with your friends. Please do like and subscribe. And please do join me in the next video which will be on general inorganic chemistry. Why I have taken general inorganic chemistry? Because inorganic chemistry is a very big section. Hai, and we will be taking all uh, things combined. Okay. So except for metallurgy, salt analysis, it's a separate topic. Rakh diya gaya hai. Groups ke baare mein jo study hogi, that is a study of S block, P block, T block, or periodic properties. In ba ke baare mein hum general inorganic chemistry mein hi cover karenge. And we have taken three sessions for that. We have scheduled three sessions for that. So that ki inorganic chemistry pe aap bahut achhe tarikhe se focus kar pao. Inorganic chemistry ka dar aapko thoda nikal jaya ke din se. So with this, I Saurav Goswami take leave. And I hope you do join me in the next session and I wish you all the very best and have a lovely day ahead. Bye-bye.